I got lost and I didn't end up painting anything, but it was a nice walk. As I head home, I'm sorry about the fan, by the way. It's really hot. And, wow, this is really loud for some reason. I seem to do this a lot. Oh, that's because I got the wrong thing. There we go. As I head home, I get the distinct feeling of being followed. I didn't really know that was a thing that actually happens, but it's not hard to notice when you see someone, some movement out of the corner of your eye. I turn around and see a sleek, a sleek black cat stands. Uh, I turn around. Pause. A sleek black cat stands in the middle of the road. It sits down when we make eye contact and thumps its tail testingly against the pavement. It's got different colored eyes. I guess how do you come It really is pretty common in cats, huh? Should I, like, try to bring it to the cafe? They take care of strays there, after all. I should try. I crouch down slowly as I take as I can and reach my hand toward the cat, beckoning it to it. Come to me! It doesn't move. I make those little smoochy noises that seem to work on some cats. This one doesn't seem terribly impressed. It pins its ears back and looks away, still for a moment before standing up and slinking into an alleyway. I guess I should just leave this to the professionals. That's kind of messed up my phone. Better than the Pokemon theme song starting to play. Did I? Is this important? It is important? I can't lock my phone! Are you important? Wow, that's a sentence. Um, <laughs> it's time to celebrate! I'm gonna wreck this pizza I grabbed from Pizza Lloyd's on the way home! I picked up a can of wet cat food for Mochi from the corner store, too. I figure we both deserve a celebration. <clears throat> Mochi, get your fat lump out here! You got, you got good news? No answer or indication he's even in the same room. You know, he never even asked how my day was. I know how to do this. I walk over to his food bowl and crack the lid of the wet cat food. In a flash, he's at my feet, tail shaking. Tail shaking like a rotor behind him. Give me a big moron. I give him a little scratch behind the ears before I dump half the can into his bowl and the feeding frenzy begins. He acts like I never feed him. Whatever. I'm about to go to I'm about to go do the same to this pizza. Jesus, I can't read. After a quick jaunt to free myself from the shackles of non-pajama clothing, I flop back down on the couch. Dinner in hand, laptop in my face. Oh! Looks like there's a new jelly donut video. It's a video for sleeping in a donut box. I love that dumb internet cat. She's always doing something ridiculous. I wonder how her owner gets her to do those tricks. That flooring seems familiar. Where are these filled? I spend the rest of the evening picking through the video archives. I can feel myself sinking into a bread dough couch cushions. Human! It's so early. What is his problem? Human! I bet he just wants the other half of the wet food. This is why I don't get it for him that often. I excavate myself from the couch and do what I can to m mitigate. It's just a weird word. The bedhead situation I have going on. What time is it anyway? I grab my phone to check. 7.40! Aw, hell! <laughs> I'm gonna be late for my first day of work. I take the world's fastest shower, but there's no time to dry my hair. I'll have to hope that I run fast enough that the wind resistance will do the job for me. No time to sort through my duffel. 
I'm just gonna have to throw on whatever looks cleanest. Uh, it's not like Grace said anything about dress code, so whatever. Mochi trails me closely, howling more and more instantly. Instinctively, whatever, along the way. I didn't read that white, right. White, uh, uh, it's like he doesn't care about my punctuality at all. <laughs> time to mix the wet, there's no time to mix the wet food the way he likes it. I dumped the scoop of kibble into the bowl and on my way out the door. I haven't seen a cat so often, so offended so often. I haven't seen a cat so offended since the one that watched me mess up my coffee. They can both deal with it. I can't believe I'm almost late for my first day of work. And my first job, even. What a great first impression to leave. Thanks for hiring me, Avery the Flake. I started out in a full sprint to the cafe, but it's only about a ten minute walk, so it looks like it might not be as bad as I thought. If I can run, I can make it in less time. Here it is, cat's paw. I got a good look at it when I was here yesterday, but it feels totally different when you're at your workplace, you know? It's kind of nice to think about. Avery! Hey! Lynch peeks his head out from the door frame and waves me in. I'm surprised how many people are standing around. Graves, Landry, Hayes, and there are... Are, are there, but so are a few others I've never seen. I only see a few cats right now, but they seem utterly disinterested in everything we are doing. My ankle itches like a bitch, holy crap. Um, they're all piled in a sleep cluster by the window. I feel a little embarrassed that I'm so disheveled, but I'd rather be on time than with wet hair and on time with wet hair than lay on a looking perfect, Jesus. Good, you decide to challenge the morning sun after all. Work with me. Ah, hair, work with me here. Ah. Now that the star is here, we can start this show. My alarm just went off. Still as weird as yesterday, I see. Kind of the sucker boss. You're mine, boy! You're mine! <laughs> Sorry. Ugh, that esteemed co worker to you, Reese. That's esteemed. Fuck. You just keep collecting these strays. Before we get too far, everybody should introduce yourself. <laughs> Every we already met, and you know Graves already. And you meet Hayes yesterday, briefly. Hello, Hayes. I'm, I'm scared. Hey. Looks like he's going to try and slip between the cracks in the tile. How does a guy like this handle a job that deals with people? He's a great barista. He can. He's a great help in the kitchen, but he likes to spend a lot of time with cats too. He's flashing me a quick look to the side of his mouth. The side of his mouth upturned so slightly like he's trying to smile, but he's out of practice. I reach out to shake his hand. He's practically bracing for impact. Before I can reach him, a bright light flashes in at the corner of my vision. What? Is that a camera? Oh, sorry, sweetie. I love you, Finley! I thought I'd turn the flash off. I whip my head to the other side of the lineup. The girl in the end is aiming her phone directly at me. Sorry, don't mind me. I just want to commemorate our new employee. I'm Finley. I take care of the social media. I like Candace, so I tried it. So I'll try again later when you've forgotten about it. Finley is awesome. Waves! Ah! It's my voice! I know what you're going to say. Don't ruin the surprise. Raves a little soft bark of a laugh. All right, all right. You tell Avery when you're ready. Aw. Thank you. Two in the middle of the lineup look beyond impressed. Un beyond unimpressed. One is smart mouth guy. Is one is the smart mouth guy? Priest. Jesus! Wow! Wow! And the other looks like someone I wouldn't want to mess with. I, she looks like someone I wouldn't want to meet in a dark alley. Finley puts her hand on the shoulder of the tough-looking woman standing next to her. Since she's not going to introduce herself, this is Mason. She's our head chef. Or our only chef, I guess. Hmm. Well, nice to meet you both. Yeah. Finley reaches up and places her hand against the back of Mason's head. She pushes her hand forward, forcing Mason to nod. I'm amazed Mason's putting up with this. Wow, it's most spoken all day. She's li she likes you already, Avery. Mason makes a quick little noise that could be either a laugh or a grunt. Maybe it was both. I kind of all say the best for last. I'm Reese, I'm the one you'll be answering to after Graves. So you better stand the good side. Yeah, okay, short stuff. I would have sworn Landry was second in command here, so I don't know what this kid's talking about. I didn't even see him at all during the interview yesterday. 
I'm not can't deal with the de de detail today, but don't think that means we'll be keeping an eye on you. Okay. Cat detail. What's going to mean taking care of the cats? Obviously. I'm learning quickly! <laughs> I don't know why the second in command would be so eager about telling me he's going to clean litter boxes today. Maybe it's a weird status thing here. Ew. Er, I'll be in my best behavior then, I guess. Good. Okay. Alright, that should be everybody then. Avery, you'll be training with me today. I hope that's okay. It's totally cool. High five. Woo! Leave me hanging, bro. It's fine with me. Looks like I'm no longer needed. I have work to do. Where are you going, Graves? Where are you going? You know where to find me. Graves slings to the back of the cafe. I think I hear footsteps on creaky stairs. Mason and Hayes appear after him. Avery, did you have breakfast? We're gonna have something to eat before we work if you'd like to join us. It's a tradition. Sounds great. I fed my cat, but I forgot to feed myself. Reese has already seated himself on the long booth seated table. Seating table along the wall. Jeez. He scoots two of the tables together and Landry pulls over another chair. Great. Sit and relax. Mason just finishing up breakfast. Woo! Move, take a seat, but Finley blocks my path. Avi, before you sit down, I have a question for you. <laughs> sure, what's up? Okay. Is that voice drops and almost just almost slowly, I don't know <laughs> just leans into whisper that's an Ikea shirt isn't it? Ikea! it's from Ikea! he's my favorite too! a what? Ikea lasso? from what? T like you don't have to play dumb I get it no I really have no idea what that is is that like a show? Is this shirt from something? Oh, um, no. Never mind, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I just thought it was a cool shirt. I just thought it was a cool shirt. Well, it is, but it's weird to buy things from games you haven't played. I'm sorry, oh, it's a game! I played some games, but I haven't heard of that one. I like a lot of retro games, so it's new. Oh, it's a different type of game. Never mind. Well, now I'm curious. No, it's okay. You probably wouldn't like the game about boys fighting. Or maybe you would. Uh, okay. Maybe I'll lend it to you sometime. If you prove yourself worthy. Not really sure what that involves, but sure. Oh, right. She gives me a grin and a wink and takes a seat at the table next to Reese. I noticed that somebody said the table I was talking to Finley. I said, hey, you should be out in a minute, Avery. Come, sit down. Sit with us. Sure. Sure. Where should I sit, though? What if there are some unspoken rules about this sort of thing in placing? You never know with new groups. Andre answers my conundrum. <laughs> conundrum is a fun word. For me, by beckoning to sit between him and Finley. Quietly, I take the seat. Mason emerges from the back of the large tray balanced atop each hand. One tray has a giant stack of French toast. The other is some kind of egg thing. I'm not sure, but it looks amazing. Whoa. I had no idea how hungry I was until just now. She sets the trays down in front of us and then returns to the kitchen. I'm just getting back soon because I'm about to go on. Because I'm about to be on an egg thing like mochi on wet food. Mason returns a few moments later, creating just empty coffee cups in her arms. Hayes follows in tow, carefully balancing a carafe with coffee. They set the cups and the carafe on the table. And the carafe. I don't know. And takes their seats. Hayes, Hayes' butt barely hits the chair before the others start to dig in. Family. So sweet. I'm a little afraid that I'll lose my hand in the fray if I jump in now, but I'm so hungry. Landry reaches out an arm from behind a fortress of French toast slices. He lightly bats at Reese's hand as it reaches for the syrup pitcher. It's so bravery, Jesus, you pig. Jeez, calm down. You're almost stealing all food. I haven't taken any more than usual. Breakfast is important. It's the most important meal of the day. To have you guys had breakfast today, I mean, seriously. I'm not one to talk, but I, I had breakfast today. I had leftover Chinese food. <laughs> well, everybody shouts and chatters across the table. I help myself to a bit of everything. I'm not used to eating a real breakfast, especially the one that didn't come out of a microwave. So I'm going to savor this. Wow, this is amazing. Mason, what is this egg thing? Mason's eyebrow, shoot Mason's eyebrow shoots up. She looks at me like I grew another nose. Is that like a souffle? 
Looks like it'd be really hard to make. Just eggs and vegetables in a pan. Still, I don't want to be able to make anything like that. It's really nice to have a real breakfast. What do you usually eat, Avery? Mostly cold pizza or toaster tarts, I guess, if I remember to get them. What's happening behind me? Okay. Mason glares like I just knocked a plate on the floor. She stares directly at me, through me, a hard look in her eyes. You eat here now. Always. So, can I still have pizza sometimes? Not for breakfast. Ever. Hmm. I really gotta sneeze. Oh, maybe. I can hear Finley and Reese snickering. Okay, but other times are still okay, right? Mason rolls her eyes and goes back to her coffee. Is that Avery? Not Avery. Blech! <laughs> Ma- Blech! Landry! God, does somebody name Landry's hand? I think it's Landry's hand. Okay. Reese stares up at me between bites of French toast. Avery, when we're done, need to talk to you about dress code. Oh, Reese, don't start this again. Shh, it's important. Part of a new employee orientation. Landry passes a positively pain look at Reese. He glances at me, but a poke to the ribs from Finley sends me staring back at this plate. Landry, you're such a mama bird sometimes. Lighten up. Avery, we'll look at this place. We take our visual presentation very seriously here. Mason gives another grunt. Hayes places an empty plate and cup and on. Hayes places places his empty plate and cup on Mason's plate. Mason's scissors. Yep. <laughs> and takes a stack into the back with urgency of a tactical retreat. Very nice, but a certain level of decor with our weight set. Is this about my outfit? I woke up a little late, so. No, this is about uniforms. Mason pushes her chairs away from the table with enough force that it wobbles briefly on two legs. She stands and takes my plate in one, in one fell swoop. Opening soon, time to get ready. She picks up the now empty cast iron skillet with one hand and balances a few other place, plates on top. That looks heavy, but she's holding it like it's nothing. Come on. She stares down and gestures to the back door with a, he with a head nod before she heads to the kitchen. Don't think you're going so easily, Avery. You'll get ridden up if you don't have your uniform. Okay. He seems pretty serious about this. Maybe I shouldn't blow him off because he looks so young. Maybe he's secretly as old as Graves or something. Uniforms. But nobody else is wearing a uniform. They just haven't changed yet. Or they don't need them. Only the wait staff wear uniforms and you'll be waiting tables with Landry today. Oh. But Landry... Landry doesn't have a uniform! Reese glances over his sh shoulder towards Landry, who's made himself busy straightening up the tables in the dining area. He doesn't appear to have heard us. He doesn't appear to have heard either of us, or he's just ignoring us. Oh. That's because we don't have a uniform his size. Yeah, at least. Someday you won't have an excuse anymore. Come on, Avery, I bet you look cute in the uniform. I can't help feeling a bit edgy about this. Reese rummages around in the drawer by the back of the by the back door and pulls out some kind of black, orange, and white lace thing. That can't be it, right? This is like it should be your size? Come on. He dumps a pile of lace and fabric in my hands and pushes me toward what I assume is the bathroom. I pause in front of the door and give Reese a baleful look. Oh, come on, at least try it. Alarm bells are going off in my head, but what's the harm? It'll look a little silly. Hell, I might even end up looking cute. Alright, just give me a second. Good. Good answer. He seems pleased, but I'm a little irked by that smug sense of victory he's oozing. I close the bathroom door behind me and lay out the uniform. Yikes. This is even worse than I thought. Well, it's too late to turn back now. I put the uniform on. At least, I think I put it on properly. I can't tell if these two bows are supposed to go in front or the back. I catch a glimpse of myself in the mirror and then decide it's better not to make eye contact with my reflection. I crack open the door and... And... And met? Okay. With recent Finley's eager faces. You're so cute. Finley holds up her phone. The flash doesn't go off this time. Ha! <laughs> Told you I'd get it candid. Oh my god. Avery Light! You look so... real. <laughs> really, I can't believe you fall for such an obvious prank. 
Yep, you got me. Come on, we're take a look, Landry. Come on. Chris turns the back of the Landry, who's quickly, who quickly mumbles an excuse to himself and disappears upstairs. It's a pity neither of you were here when Landry wore it. Just bursting out of the thing. It looks absolutely ridiculous. You look absolutely adorable. I think it's cute. I'd wear that uniform. I know you would. That's why I can't trust you. Where did this even come from? Reese's lip curls in disgust. Graves. He's just stuck in interior design. He's just stuck in interior design and never stepped into fashion again. He tried to get me to wear that, you know. I told him he could keep his Halloween fever dream. If Graves designed it, I'm. If Graves designed it, I'm surprised it doesn't have a hooded cloak of Raven or something. Eh, don't let him hear you say that. He might just make some additions. Oh, oh, my reading is terrible today. I think the less we mention this thing, the better. You're required to wear that today, by the way. Nope. Just for a little bit? Nope. Uh, I think you should. I close the bathroom door behind me. Can't get the uniform off fast enough. Mostly because the boat got stuck. I've never felt so good to be back in my trusty old digs. I open the door and Reese and Finley have already scattered. I don't know where the uniform is supposed to go, so I just leave it folded up in the bathroom sink. Oh, I heard a birdie outside. I'm gonna end it here, guys, and my voice is slowly fading away. I'll see you guys next time.